Yes? Uh-huh. Sure. Greetings, student. Not 
this again! Never too old for this! Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Oh. 
Yes? What? So, Jolie, you decided to leave your little hermitage in the forest and come help us stop the Sith. I guess you realized this was worth coming out of retirement for, huh? Yeah, that's right, Sonny. The Sith are the greatest evil to hit the galaxy since, well, the Mandalorians. And they're the worst thing since XR Kuhn, blah blah blah, etc, etc, etc. Okay, old man, you lost me there. Are you trying to make a point? Look, everybody always figures the time they live in is the most epic. Most important age to end all ages. But tyrants and heroes rise and fall, and historians sort out the pieces. Malak is a tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually, it'll come around again. But I'd rather not wait that long. So, we do what we have to do, and we try to stop the Sith. But don't start thinking this war, your war, is more important than any other war just because you're in it. That's an interesting theory, but I don't buy it. The Republic stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years. And if it falls, everything will change forever. You believe whatever you need to get through this, Sonny. The bottom line is we both want to stop Malik. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stopping him. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. A star map. All right. You should be careful if you're planning on end. There's an assassin droid in there, so ma- No idea. I- I don't- I've had a- Sure thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Audio systems. I heard an explosion in there. Did you just... Oh well, I guess. At any rate, if you haven't already... Sorry, I'm rather busy with the excavation planning right now. Oh, hello to you. Galen Lor, at your service. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this. A gentle Paul was one of the first of the great Sith. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I. W According to legend, a gentle Paul created a sword. 
Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. Of course. Ready. is so strong with you, human. Yet the face and soul... I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell. And I knew it would be so. Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the Dark Side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. 
We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our... I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power with no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. I, I do not remember. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here. Of course you do. You... I wish my sword to be taken away from here. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long. Find the sword that is mine and place it. Then you must... I do remember one thing. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. Go then. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I shall not tell you. Our oldest secret... Never. I shall destroy you first. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? <laughs> Typical. Always ready to jump at what they perceive to be the easier path. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, but I'm no gullible fool. I'm, I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier. Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. Ha! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact uh, toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horn, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. 
It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. No? Blast it. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the... Most of the Drak Uthar has been passing through these days is so... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Mikol here has the cruel disposition of a sick... <laughs> then I'd say... What's a little mental instability? Now, now, is that any kind of ad- So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I- Miko here is a bit. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. No hesitation before the kill? Now that's what I'd like to hear. Well then... <sighs> now, now, dear lad, do you really think you're... And how many correctly answered questions before... On that note, now then. Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. Correct! He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help. The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon. Sadly, Miko. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Correct! Let them rip the secret from your... Well, it's sad to say... Ah! Poor Nicole has gone and died on us. Ah, here I thought it was good for at least one more. Well, is young Nicole dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? That indeed would be I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps...
got something on your mind? Uh no problem. Got it. Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are all... Ah, the ones I ordered... Indeed. The lesson is learned. Go now. You have done well. Ah, finally. The genuine sword. I... We should have kept that. It could have made a... Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed... Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left. I am impressed. You have rid... Go now. You have done well. Master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. Regardless, you have impressed you have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in fall. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well.
So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb. Then we... Very well. We are now ready for your final... Indeed you have. I... Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. A... Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in the Do you understand what I have told you? I... Good. You felt...
Turn to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you... That is the lesson we teach with that... Good. The last part of your test, all life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. 
one must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or so it behoove normally. What? So this is what you had planned? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Uthura. It is time for you to die and someone more. No. It is time for you. Oh, is this true, young? You are indeed a fool if you think to a <laughs> To think that I act. This makes no sense. You will never become a Sith if you turn on us both. What could you hope to? Betrayed. He is a spy. Do not fret, my dear. All will. You will pay. No, what? Indeed. No. Oh. You are indeed a. F <laughs> this makes no. Betrayed. Do not. You.
You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? You lie! You could never have killed the Master. You are not Revan! Quick! What? If Master Uthar is dead, then he was a weak fool. Now attack! I... <laughs>
You're a sit, right? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. 
Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you respond. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. You have a darkness inside you that must be Revan. But th that's why I can't hate whatever's happened up until this point. Well, then I hope I can save you. <laughs> 